Greetings, everybody. Um, this is a Dig Deeper with Chai. And today, I just want to think about, um, you know, like what I'm dealing with right now and what I'm processing right now, and hopefully it will resonate with you guys. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. In this lockdown, there's definitely been this feeling of what am I really called to do in my life? What is my purpose? Why am I here? And I think because there are so few distractions right now for us that a lot of these feelings are coming to the surface and a lot of these questions are coming to the surface. So at least that's been my experience. And I'm wondering if any of you are having that experience too, asking questions like, why was I put on this planet? And what does God want me to do with my life? And um, what's my true purpose? Um, because when I'm dealing with everyday life like it was before the virus, I was just busying myself with, you know, oh, I got to get out, I got to go to the gym, I got to go to the market, I got to do this, got to do that. Um, and I don't have as much time to contemplate the deeper questions. And so today, you know, I give those questions to the Lord. I just leave them at the cross and I ask our Heavenly Father to give us revelation and help us understand uh, what his plan is for us because he does say that he does not have plans for us to um, be harmed but to prosper. So in what ways are we going to prosper for God? How are we going to further his kingdom? And um, I'm feeling these feelings of like, oh, are my children truly safe? Like they've been baptized and um, they have s said the words with their mouth that they have received Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. But, you know, there's always that nagging little voice in my head that's like, but are they really saved? Are they really, you know, going to follow God? Are they really going to trust Jesus? Are they really going to have a relationship with Jesus? Like, that's the most important thing is that they're having a true relationship with them. And I'm not going to lie to you. Like, even though they've been baptized and even though they've said the words, you know, are they truly, truly saved? And only God knows that. But the Bible says, I guess, that they are definitely saved. But, um, you know, I, I just worry too much. I worry, I worry, and I worry. And that is a lack of faith. I don't want to live in lack when it comes to Jesus because He's commanded us to be courageous and he has commanded us to trust him and to trust in his promises. And he's commanded us not to spin out with the devil because that's basically what we're doing. We're walking into the devil's playground, totally on our own will, opening the gate and walking into his playground and playing with his toys. And it's not okay. You know, we, uh, have got to get out of the devil's playground, close the gate behind us, and walk into the Lord's heavenly realms, which is right in here, in our heart. We have to block Satan out of our thoughts because that's where he tries to really gain power over us is through our thoughts, the thoughts that run through our head. So I guess today is just about coming to terms with the fact that I'm not going to have all the answers today about my future and about what God ha has in, in store for me. I'm not because I don't know, especially in these uncertain times. There's so many of us who don't know what our lives are going to look like once the lockdown is over. And, you know, are we still going to have our jobs? Are we still going to... Uh, I don't know. You know, it's just it's just a lot of unknowns. I can't think of them all right now because there's too many and it's overwhelming and depressing. But <laughs> um, we don't know our future, but we do know 
that the Lord has plans for us and we can be obedient to those plans just by asking him to continuously reveal to us through the Holy Spirit what those plans are and then respond respond accordingly when you get a little morsel a little seed of of understanding of what that truth might be be obedient to it who knows what it is it could be writing a book it could be you know, starting a woman's group. It could be, uh, you know, like a woman's Bible study. It could be, um, it could be starting your own YouTube channel. <laughs> I don't know what it might be for you, but, or for me, I'm still asking all of these questions because I'm not completely satisfied with the all of my life. And I don't know if I ever will be, but there are certain areas where I'm like, check, that's good. But then there's other areas where I'm going, oh, this is so frustrating. I want to know. What am I supposed to do? What's it going to look like? So I know I'm not alone in that. And I'm not going to let the devil be make me believe that I'm alone in that because I'm not. And he just loves to make us feel alone and isolated and confused. But not today. Not today. We're going to dig deeper than that, and we're going to remember that we can trust in our Holy Savior and in his promises, and um, I think that's good. I think that's it. I think that's where we should end it, just remembering that there is a plan for us. We're not just floating off untethered into the winds, you know, with nobody watching over us and no plan. We are being protected and guided and he has great plans for us.